everyone, I'm Felicia Fitzpatrick, Playbill's social media director and the host of the Call and Response podcast, which explores the intersection between blackness and performing arts. As we continue the momentum and push forward, it's shows like Waitress, like Moulin Rouge, and Jagged Little Pill that can show that black people can experience a full range of emotions. They don't just have to tell a specific story. We can live, we can laugh, we can love, we can grieve. You know, we're, we're multi-dimensional humans, and um, I'm excited for you to take a peek and learn from some actors that are on Broadway and engaging in this very issue. Take a look. Hey, I'm Jordan Sparks and I'm currently playing Jenna on Waitress. Hello, my name is Saad Gauja. I play Toulouse Lautrec in the Moulin Rouge. Hi, my name is Celia Rose Gooding and I play Frankie Healy in Jagged Little Pill. We do have quite a diverse cast of people um, involved in the production on stage and behind the scenes. For obvious reasons, it's wonderful to have um, a cast that reflects the diversity of the people that would come and see it. Being in a Broadway show, I mean, it means, it means the world to me. I have some of the best memories from being um, on Broadway when I did In the Heights, and now I'm creating new memories uh, in Waitress. and. It's just been really, really incredible. I'm, I'm really, really blessed to be able to experience this. What draws me to Broadway and live theater is empathy and representation. Broadway has this incredible ability to put people's stories on a stage and let a whole bunch of people get a lens into a sort of life experience that they, not, that they don't have access to. And representation, especially being a black woman and being a dark-skinned black woman, I love being able to tell a black woman's story so that other black girls can feel represented. But it's not really about what they look like, it's about their talent, and I think that that's a beautiful thing. Me in the role of Toulouse Lautrec, I think is quite interesting and could even be considered peculiar. The fact that our stories are being told by people of color, but our race and our ethnicity is not the driving factor. It's we are people of color, but we're also doctors and therapists and pharmacists and teachers and students just learning. I feel like the more opportunities we have as people of color to have a story that doesn't center where, who we are and our identity, but also using our identity to highlight is just this perfect balance and being a person of color and telling this story is so, so special. 